The world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, has started collecting data for the first time this year. The machine, which was switched off at the end of 2015 to undergo maintenance, was turned back on on the 25th of March 2016. Since then, it has been undergoing fine-tuning and calibrations before the first physics data could be collected. 2016 is a year of production of collision. 2015, it was to qualify the machine at 13 TV, what is this very high energy, unprecedented energy in an accelerator in the world. We set the machine in terms of powering, in terms of the number of uh, initial number of uh, protons last year, but this year we want to increase the intensity of the machine and to produce data. This is really a challenge for the machine to produce this data in a smooth way and to deliver constant collision to the experiment. Our goal is to really produce six times more collision than in 15 at 13 TV. And this is our goal for this year. This milestone marks the beginning of an exciting period for physicists, as the machine will provide six times more data than last year, in 2015, giving scientists a chance to answer some of the remaining questions about the laws governing our universe. With an increased luminosity, we gain sensitivity at the highest energy. So suddenly, we will explore energies that hitherto were not really reachable. So if new physics is hidden there, this is the chance to see it. Some indications that created a lot of excitement uh, with the theorists uh, uh, were seen with the experiment as they may be fluctuations, they may be real particles. As a physicist, of course, I hope that this is new physics already. But maybe that would be too simple. The Higgs boson was the last puzzle piece in the standard model a theory that offers us the best description of our universe, the fundamental particles it's made from, and the forces which govern them. But there are still several questions unanswered by this theory that don't explain why nature prefers matter to antimatter or what dark matter is, despite it potentially making up one quarter of our universe. The huge amounts of data from the 2016 LHC run will enable physicists to challenge these and many other questions to probe the standard model and to possibly find clues on physics beyond it.